then I'm running late as usual. I just came back from getting masks. COVID-19 has us out here wearing masks. My face under all this concealer is a mess, but it's okay. I'm healthy, I'm grateful. And shout out to all the essential workers out there that are keeping us safe. And also to the Taiwanese government. We now get nine masks for, let me show you. We now get nine masks for 45 NT, which is five pula. Did 15 pula and then that is a dollar fifty cents. So thank you guys. Thank you, Taiwanese government. Thank you, health insurance. We are grateful. Moving on, they're clean, they're in an envelope, right? So I'm gonna be sipping on some ACV because I'm still intermittent fasting, 16 a method. This really gets your digestive system moving. Tastes like crap, but it really does help. The scale is looking good today. Anyway, I'm late as usual, let's move. Today we're gonna to be making my cauliflower mac and cheese, which I did about a week or two ago. And I fell in love with it. It is that good. I'm gonna be doing that for about three days, and then I'm gonna have a sweet potato option for the other two days. Just jump into what you're gonna need. <laughs> of course you're gonna need cauliflower, I'm just saying. And then I'm gonna chop this up, season it, roast it first, and then re-roast it with my cheese sauce. And then, like I said, the other two days, some sweet potatoes, they should be enough. For my third compartment of my bento box, I'm gonna be using my green beans here, please season it. Mushrooms, because who doesn't love mushrooms? Don't come for me. I love mushrooms, let me put it that way. Chills, because it's cauliflower mac and chills. Cooking cream, so that you thicken up your cream, your cheese sauce. Hold on a sec, I forgot something. Soy milk for my milk base to make the chill sauce. And then my meats are, I'm not using one of those by the way, but some honey mustards and pork chops. They smell so good. Please, please season your meats. Throw in some oil, throw in some, there's no salt in this by the way. Throw in some oil, throw in some spices, leave your meat overnight, you'll thank me later. And my other meat is pepper, pepper. And my other meat is some salmon. <laughs> Let me stop, the salmon smells amazing too. Pre-season, some oil, some ACV as well. Throw in apple cider vinegar wherever you can. But let's get started guys, I'm late. All right, so I pre-seasoned this before I roasted for the first time with a lot of paprika, some garlic, chili bites, so, um, spice, thank you father. And then I'm about to throw this in the oven for about 10, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna make the cheese sauce. The ingredients are over there. While I'm doing that, I have my sweet potato in there. It's not bending, it's cooking. Just a light boil. You don't want it to be mush mush. Then I'm going to pre-roast my meat. Once the cauliflower is ready, then it should be good to go. Okay, I'm out here serving my salmon. Once this is done, I'm going to sear the pork, get them ready for the oven later on. Let's see if it's ready to flip. Not yet. Leave it alone, Tracy. Leave it alone. Leave me alone. Are you ready? Let's check. Okay. Yes. Yes, my Juana, my child. Okay, okay. Remember, you're going to also recook this again in the oven. So you're just giving it a nice browning on top so that it doesn't look like mbo shosho, which is basically nonsense. 
Let's give that a bit of a, um, uh, let's sear that a bit more. Throw it back in the container, do the pork and move on. Time. All right, here's pokey pokey, smelling all mustardy. Leave it alone, leave it alone. I'll be back. All right, let's check out the pork now. Ow, my child, what's going on here? Hello, 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 hello. All right, I'm gonna increase the heat a bit. Don't burn your food, but learn how to control the temperature. Cause I'm not trying to cook this, remember? I'm just trying to sear it for that nice brownness. Eh, 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 it agrees. There you go, you see that? You see that, even though I'm seeing that this is basically fat, it's okay. Fats are also part of the, what do you call it? Food chain, not food chain. Your diet, there we go. But I'm about to get started on the cheese sauce. Watch the space. The cauliflower is in here, it's roasting. Let's wait for that. But move, 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 move. All right, so the pork is basically telling me, mother, I want to just cook on the stove. No problem, my child. So I'm just gonna let this pre-cook. I'm just gonna let it cook all the way out as a nice fry. Use some paper towel to absorb all that mafuta. Remember, I didn't put any oil. This is all from the pork, so. Make sure you drink that, people. Oil is not a, uh, is not a drink. But while I'm doing that, the sauce is over here. I put some milk, cha 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 cha, some cream, and I'm gonna wait. But who? What's that video? I'm gonna wait for that to boil a bit, and then not to boil, to simmer. Then I'm gonna add my cheese and some seasoning so that it has an extra pa pa layer. And then once the cauliflower is ready. We are going to throw it on top of the cauliflower and re-cook. We've thrown in the cheese, it's simmered. Let's let this cheese melt and embrace its cheesiness. I'm gonna throw in my seasoning and you will see that shortly. It smells so good. I'm sorry, it smells so good guys. It's nice, a bit thick. Remember, you don't want it to be too thick because you need to be able to pour it over the cauliflower. Once that coli is done, I am going to put it on top and give it another 10 minute, um, what you call it? Another 10 minute broil. All right, the cauliflower's out. It's not as brown as I would want it to be, but it's okay, it's definitely cooked. You can smell it. It more so steamed than, you know, did a nice little roast. That is okay, we will make it work. Anyway, let's throw on this cheese sauce. I'm gonna just do it a uh, rache. I don't have time, so let me focus on this. All right, so this is a safe space, no judgment, right? Anyway, my time is not looking good. Let me give you a view of that. It's 12.30, I need to be at work by 1.30, but I still need to see do something about my hair. Not even gonna wash it, so. <laughs> I'll wash it after work. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Anyway, change of plans. We're not going to wait to, um, what is the word? We're not gonna wait to, we're not gonna wait to put this in the oven. We're just gonna continue cooking it on the stove. And then we have the mushroom over here and the green beans. We're going to just give this a nice sha sha fry. Woo, the cheese is smelling good though. So let's get to work with that. Hand in there, hand in there. Come back to the stove. Cook, cause I gotta go. I gotta go, I gotta go. And then get this. So I am mid trying to get the sides, of course, a nice little crispiness. Remember, salmon doesn't take long to cook, okay? So it is mostly cooked. Now I'm just trying to Get my sides a little brown. Woo, looking good and smelling good though. This big one, my guy. Uh, yeah, you need to move. Yeah, you're just going to be sideless. You're going to just not be roasted on your sides, hey? Anyway, uh, you know it's getting there when you smell the mushroom. Yes! I'm just gonna give this a, you know, a few more minutes to do its magic. Then I'm going to dish and blend. Let's look at Abuti Mac. Woo! Okay, okay. What I want to do is I want to get to the level where it's nice and brown, but it's okay. Let's let it keep going. Okay, okay, okay. It looks even better than the. Oh, oh, oh. Let me do it. 
do a dramatic lift. Hold on, let's see if I can. Okay, no, it's not gonna do that, but oh, it's nice and cheesy. <laughs> anyway, let me dish this, I'll show you the final plating. You know, the most painful thing about these meal preps is I do them fasted. So all this is happening and I haven't tasted a thing. But it smells so good. Guys, please try this out, especially the cauliflower mac and cheese. It tastes just like the real thing, less carbs. I'm not going to do any bougie pictures. I'm running late. Let me just try one, two, three. But anyway, bye. inspired by you uh, just like the cauliflower and the broccoli I put it in there together and then I put a little bit of cheese to make it stick together and then on top I've put some fish um, shredded fish and then I'm going to put a little bit of some cheese on top and then voila there's my meal <laughs>